It's good to be here. Uh, speaking for everyone at Rosen Aviation, uh, we appreciate your business and we look forward to doing more work with you going forward over the next couple of years while I'm around at least. So um, I'm Pat Bloodworth. I'm the business development manager for Rosen Aviation. The other team members that are here at the exhibit is uh, Mark Cook, my VP of Sales and Marketing, and Joe Bazan, who many of you know and work with over the years. He's definitely a cabin expert, and I'm glad to have him here with me. The um, work that we've done over the past year and a half or so has really been based upon the uh, development of products for the aftermarket, and one of these is this Rosenview Media input panel. This is a product that was actually part of a system announced at MBAA for the Rosenview Access infotainment system that many of you hopefully have received information from us on over the past half year or so. The Rosenview Access system, this media input panel, and the another product that I'll be introducing to you are all based on meetings and discussions and really information from all of you to tell us what customers are needing on their aircraft right now for the cabin. The target market for the Rosenview Media Input Panel is uh, the aftermarket, of course. However, the OEM side has also expressed a strong interest in the Media Input Panel. The reason we developed this was based, again, on the information that you all provided us to go ahead and provide the ability for an HDMI plug-in. Also, they said, well, how about a USB plug-in? And that's what this media input panel does. Um, it also provides USB charging at 1.5 amps. The uh, HDMI and USB panels have a dimmable, dimmable light ring that is set up via a pot. The bezel actually is uh, removable so that you can do that. And there's also adjustable line level audio output. So, Really, it is a standalone product. It can be part of the Rosenview Access System, or it could be a standalone product. And, and what we're talking about here for all of our dealers is the ability to install this system, media input panel, along with many of the existing installations that you've done already using the SDI-supported Rosen displays. For example, the remote display module with the remote monitor electronic box that many of you have installed over the years the standalone all-in-one that support SDI also. This is a graphic depiction showing you exactly what we are proposing for this standalone media input panel. Again, 3G SDI along with composite inputs, 1.5 amp charging. We're also introducing the Rosen tablet holder here at the AEA for the first time. This again is based on feedback from all of you many times saying, you know, there's thousands of these Rosen personal displays installed on all these aircraft over the past, I would say, 10 years or so. Why don't you go ahead and build your OEM quality reliability focus uh, effort that you have at Rosen and provide a Rosen tablet holder to plug into these existing Rosen base receptacles? So that's the purpose of this Rosen tablet holder. We wanted to bring this to you at the AEA to show you different configurations and at our exhibit to allow you the ability to get a feel for exactly how well designed this system is. For example, what you'll see in this slide right here, the tablet holder actually slides back and forth. There is no left-right part number. It'll fit right into a side pocket, for example, on certain aircraft. So we really want your feedback. We have uh, uh, incentives for you, if you'll come by the booth, to let us know at booth 310, 312, your thoughts about the two products that we're announcing. We'll also have Rosenview Access on display to get your thoughts on that product and talk about maybe some incentives that we can do during this ADSB mandate era that's going on over the next year or so. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 61st Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Las Vegas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at aspenavionics.com. Avidine is the pilot-centric innovator. If you look at Avidine's 
20 plus year history. We had the first moving map, full color, that had everything on it. We were the first ones to do a primary flight display for general aviation. Avidine has lots of opportunities and things in the works that will continue the leadership role we played in the past of coming up with new concepts and always having the best user interface to them.